you've probably heard the expression, to be successful, all you have to do is to do something common, but do it in an uncommon way. That's been my entire passion, is to take technology, apply it to vacuum tube amplifiers or guitar pedals, and take them beyond to the next level of what they can be. And that's, that's really what I'm all about, taking things to the next level. I'm Brad Jackson. In 2004, I started a company called Jackson Ampworks. My name is Michael Fuller, and I run Full Tone Musical Products. I make guitar effects. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm proud of this one. This works well. Kind of one of my favorite pedals that I came up with is the Deja Vibe. And there's been there, there's been a lot of incarnations of it. Um, this is the coolest in my opinion. And I was able to make a nice little cutout. All you have to do is rock your heel a little bit and it, you can turn it on and off really easily. Um, or you can just sneak up with your foot and turn it sure. off without changing your setting, right. your favorite setting. I'm amazed at the metal work right here. To I make know. that curve and make that look oh, so clean. That. Exactly, and to weld and That's to beautiful. grind it. It's pretty cool. My first awareness of Mike and, and Full Tone it would be around the year 2000. I was playing guitar a lot, playing in a lot of bands, making all of my money playing guitar. You know, when you first start out, it's the usual suspects. It's Boss, it's Roland, it's Electro Harmonics, those really uh, well-entrenched legacy brands. And Full Tone was always the brand that when, when you're ready to take it seriously, when you're ready to make a living playing guitar, and when you feel that you've reached a point in life where you might deserve something a little bit better than the usual suspects, then that's when you pick Full Tone. And that's the way it was for me. So I would run a fat boost, a clon, a fat boost. So I'd have pre and post boosts, or I'd leave one of them always on if I want to have a good rhythm tone, the second fat boost on. And you have like six or seven options now, just the three pedals. I never had a professional relationship with Mike you know, as far as Jackson Audio and Full Tone. I never did work with him professionally until I called him one day when he was moving to, to Tennessee. I got a call from Brad uh, from Jackson Audio. I knew he made really good amps and, and effects. And I said, hey, would you be interested in selling it or maybe licensing it? What Brad and I talked about was, was making the product in the United States to continue the quality um, and for me to be involved. So the vibe was right. We were chatting, and it didn't seem like a no. It seemed like possibly. And so we just kept talking. One of my limitations is, you know, I'm self-taught. Um, I'm pretty good at what I do but there are things that I can't do. And what Brad brings to the table and what really attracted me was the ability to work with somebody and come up with things that I couldn't do. This is the very first one, and that is the first pedal I ever made, really. Um, I didn't have a name, I didn't have full tone yet, but I knew I wanted to make fuzzes. A business relationship can feel good. It, the, the vibe can be right, but until the rubber really meets the road of can you do the work and can you do it to a high level, you really don't have anything to talk about. And Mike was very, very honest about that early on. He said, hey, we can get along great on the phone, but until I see that you see your shop, I wanna see what you can do, because if I put this in your hands, you have gotta carry this, and you gotta carry it well, and you gotta carry it far. In the process of getting to know Brad and Juan, um, they invited me to come to uh, their shop in Texas. And uh, I was blown away by what they were doing with such a small shop. These guys had a beautiful clean operation, and I met the employees, they're really nice people. Um, and we hit it off and we just started talking. Could it work, you know, is, is, there, is there enough interest and all that? So he had to come in and basically vet us and look around and say, are you really who you say you are? Can you do this kind of work and do it to a high level? Mike came to Dallas, we spent the day together showing around the shop, showing him what we do and how we do it. And I guess that that was enough for Mike because he said, okay, yeah, you're in business. You're you're." You've got the equipment there, and I know what the equipment costs. You're clearly in it for real. That was really fun. That was that was the first time I'd ever actually met Mike face to face. I think we all left that meeting saying, yep, this is gonna happen. I'm not worried about it because they have good hearts, good good ethics. And you know, if you have that, that, that that's the 90% that you don't have to worry about. So the other stuff is just minutia. My responsibility with Full Tone USA is really twofold. There is an enormous stewardship component to what I'm doing because I have a 20 year history playing these products. They are foundational products to my life. It's not just, oh, build my products. No, it's take the 30 years of my career, all the success that Mike has had, take it, 
and steward it and carry it forward. So we have to faithfully do that. We have to take his brand and hold it with just the utmost care and bring it into the future. For me, doing it for 30 years almost straight, doing all the business, and I'm talking about doing the payroll, I'm talking about ordering all the parts, I'm talking about designing the product, doing the photography, doing the ads, doing the bill collecting. I think it, it sort of burned me out a little bit, but that's when I would take a stencil. That's cool. I'd blow some white through it, and then I would take a pen and, and do that, and of course, hand drilling. So then I figured out a name. I go, I'm gonna call it Full Tone, and if, I'm gonna do this Octafuzz. So I got the standard aluminum boxes, and I would just drill them by hand. You can see they're off, they're high, they're low. Drill these, they're pretty close. Then I couldn't really paint them. It was just, yeah, I started getting orders, you know? Sure. So I'm like, okay, I got a great idea. So I would sit down in a chair, I'd get my high tops on, I would hold it between my feet, and I would take a sanding disc and I would go zzz, 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 and we get the waves in it. Oh yeah, to get polish the Because you know, it looks like this when it's not polished. My passion has always been, you know, in this room. It's, it's all these amps and these guitars. And I was away from that. I, I hadn't touched a guitar in, in quite a while. What Juan and I have done, we've taken the, the back end of Mike's job, taken that off his plate, manufacturing, shipping, receiving, distribution, that's all us now. Mike and I will work very closely in prototyping if we have a new gizmo to come out with. Either I'll draft up a concept or he will, it doesn't really matter whose, whose idea it is, but we work together and, until we're both really satisfied that this is a great product and it's a full-tone USA product. I think together we can do um, some things that uh, haven't been done and that people want. Full Tone USA is not Jackson Audio 2.0. It's not another version of Jackson Audio. It is its own entirely different thing. It's a company where the one that I started with, in partnership with Mike Fuller. Mike Fuller, like I said, he's the chief design officer. If I get a bright idea for a product, it has to go through Mike first. It has to be a full tone product. We're just, we're stewarding it and we're carrying it and manufacturing and doing all the things on the back end to, to build a company, but it's his products. It will always be his products. The idea is really not to change anything unless it needs to be changed. You know, it's gonna be a collaboration, but I think we're gonna be bringing back some really cool things that maybe from the past that I missed and passed over that people really like, but also stuff that, that um, newer stuff. And then oh, some really cool stuff that hadn't been done before, certainly not by me. The overwhelming thing about Mike that I don't think anyone in this market can touch, he knows when it's right. And he spends years, like he's talked about working on the OCD for years. So we get now to the OCD, it's about probably late 2004, I got the idea for this. Mm -hmm. And this is prototype number uh, one. And this, because I'm sort of a tweaky, obsessive guy, I'm making fun of myself, I said to him, obsessive compulsive drive. And oh. That's where the OCD, and that's Just because it. like how obsessive you are about details. About detail. It's a really simple pedal. And that's, that's the hardest thing is to make something complicated, make it simple. And that's what Mike is amazing at. He takes it down to its core essence and makes brilliant products that may appear simple, but they're really brilliant. Thanks for coming and looking at my little collection. This is sort of my, this is my DNA right here. It's not all of it. You're gonna see more of it up in the garage tomorrow. Boxes and boxes of stuff that I may not know anything about, but if I look at it hard enough, I'll figure it out. But this is a lot of the stuff that, you know, for me, I look at it and, and it takes me back to um, when nothing else mattered but this, right. you know? And I like it, so it's a fun time for me. It's funny you mention like nothing else matters just because when, you're, when you were like, me at 20 years old, yeah. and you're chasing tone. Oh, it's all that mattered to me too. But does, does that really change? I don't, I don't think it does. <laughs> you just get older. Yeah. Full tone products are such stable products in the industry that they, it didn't need to just go away. We really strongly believe that, that they're, they're legacy products that can serve customers and, and guitar players for the next 20, 30 years. And that's what we were trying to do is Juan and I came together and partnered with, with, with Mike so that we could carry Full Tone USA forward and keep these amazing products very viable in the marketplace. Full Tone USA will do for the community of players what Full Tone Musical Products has always done. Make bulletproof, amazing guitar products for the working class guitar players.